Hi guys, this is Stu from Mobile Geeks and we're here at the Wearable Technologies event in Taipei, Taiwan where we've just come across a very interesting smartwatch from a company called Longshine Technologies. Let me introduce you to the Halo 1. Now the Halo 1, take a good look at this guy, that's an analog watch. It looks just like an analog watch. That's because it is an analog watch. Inside here you've got a Swiss mechanism and an actual pair of hands. That's not an LED display. That's an actual pair of hands and an actual ticker. And this, this is the regular kind of watch that you can expect to get three, four, how many years of it before you have to take it to the jewelers and get the battery replaced. So that's nice to see. But the cool thing is if I press this button right here, whoa, we have an Android display. Okay, so let's see what we got here. This is messaging. We can hook this up to, of course, to our phone because this is a companion device. Here we have time and date settings. We also have a pedometer, so we can see how many steps we're making. We've got a good-looking compass right there. We can also check our altitude. There we go. 18 meters above sea level right now. What else we got here? Oh yeah, okay, stopwatch. That's pretty much it pretty much it rather it's pretty it's a very toned down kind of Android experience but the device runs on an Intel 2231 chip which is an arm based chip I believe clocked to 300 megahertz that's backed by 212 megabytes of RAM and you're getting four megabytes of storage the display here is an OLED transparent display as you can see now transparent displays do have some limitations one of those limitations is the fact that you here you're only getting a pixel resolution or so, 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 screen resolution of 96 by 96 pixels and it's also limited to 8 megabit in terms of colors so you only get 256 colors Cool thing is, it can also be waterproofed. They can do you a version of IP53 or 54, depending on what the customer wants. The Longshine technology is predominantly ODM, although they do plan to have their own brand at some stage. Uh, inside here, you're also getting a 240 milliamp hour battery, and that is charged by a magnetic clip, which just clips to the side right here. So here we have the Halo 1, which is a companion device. But just wait one second, let me show you the Halo 2, which is slightly larger but if we just take a quick look at this guy the cool thing about him is we'll just go back out here oh sorry it's upside down ah. okay let's just go back to our home screen the cool thing about this guy is that you can actually make phone calls because this integrates a 3g sim card right into the strap here so just underneath this uh, the strap it's a little bit difficult to open because of course it's waterproof dust proof but inside here you're getting your sim card and right here on the strap you're getting your antenna so that means you can now make phone calls you've got your contacts list right there and you can also see your call log and this is also a slightly larger battery I think it's 340 milliamp hour battery which is needed to power the actual 3G chip okay so yeah, this is a fantastic device. Retail-wise, we're talking, well, an expected retail price of somewhere similar to a mid-range smartwatch. So maybe between three and $500, which is quite a broad price, spe price spectrum for the moment. But I think uh, this is a very early uh, device. Oh, let's just check out the music app right here. If we go. Okay. Top 10 Taiwan hits coming at you. Okay, so that's that, that's that's actually good because that means that the speaker here is a decent volume, so you can actually make phone calls on your on your wristwatch. You can your mother calls you while you're out jogging, you can say, I'll be back soon, mom. Okay, bum, bum, bum. yeah. So here we have the Halo 1 and Halo 2 from Longshan Technologies here at Taipei, Taiwan. I'm Stu from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for joining us. If you like this stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.